completely unblockable. I think the way they've designed these engines, it's almost impossible to make left, right unblockable. Right. I figured they're just just frames. Right. And lo and behold, then their tech came out and they're like, right. oh, okay. Yeah. What I assumed. Yeah. yeah, right. That was kind of the insight when they came out. It's like this. This, I mean, these came out in, like, vanilla Street Fighter 4. They were just very few and far in between. Yeah. And the theory behind it was, you know, this has to be kind of a, like, you got to left-right because what else would be going on? Yeah. Took a, took a little while for people to figure it out. So unblockable is the nomenclature. But just like to throw it out there that those are indeed blockable. So everybody that's watching is aware. Right. I, I like to call them hard blockable. Because they are very hard to block. <laughs> hard to block. Oh I like I like nice magic right cross up because it just sounds like something Americans would say. Absolutely. But yo, how'd you do that, magic, bro? <laughs> oh wow, he has a very commanding lead. Oh, yeah, my goodness, and that psychic messiah. Wow, oh, nice wow. on this Rufus. A lot of knowledge of the matchup here. Yeah. Great spacing. Yeah, that's also knowledge of the matchup. Jump back fierce is a tool. Uh, very well utilized against Rufus because you know he's going for dive kicks. kicks. Absolutely. It's really, really smart. And a great angle on that of Rufus is to point down at him. So he and knows this fight. And someone has to read that jump back um, fierce punch, and it's very hard to punish in, 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 you know, anyway. Yeah. You so set it up. It's a really good option. Right. If, if you go to it at the end of a round like that, you're not going to really see it coming. Rufus can actually make you pay for it with a jump roundhouse, but he has to really make that hard read. He's not right. going to do it at the end of a round. He's looking for it in the middle just right there. Yeah. Now he has. Oh, oh. Okay, he has no meter yet. Okay, now he has the meter. So now they they both have to be wary of that. Oh, nice this, and firm. This Korean Rufus has really not been able to mount any offense. It looks pretty even right now, but the uh, the the guy in the white AG Rufus has been really in control. Right. Well, now he has no meter, and, and actually uh, the Korean, we're, we're, he's not even Korean, but anyway. The, the, yeah, wow. There it is. And it happens anyway. Okay. Oh, oh my, my god, I've early. never seen that happen before. He wanted to punish with a short roundhouse chain, but he wasn't close enough. Korean Rufus is going to get it. He, surprise. Oh my goodness. And he will take the round. That had to be a little bit of nerves. He did the ultra a little bit early, I, you know, I guess. I so mean, you, you know, from, from that position, it's just a, it's a position that you're not used to. Right. He was a little bit high. He threw out the ultra, and normally characters don't fall out like that. He didn't think that it was... <laughs> I would not be surprised if he didn't think that was possible. Right. I've never seen that happen. But he's going to have to shake that off real quick here in the third round. Yeah. It's so hard, though, when something like that happens, not to carry that over and let yeah. the frustration and everything get to you. He's got a win on his back, and he's got the momentum behind him now. So it looks like he's doing well. Looks like he wanted to set up some sort of safe jump there and didn't get it. He has the meter, though. Like, this match can very much turn very quickly. He can't oh, throw it away boy. like that, though. AG's Rufus getting caught. And now it's going to be almost even? Almost. Yeah, and the Oki. He only has one uh, meter for the EX Messiah, so he's oh. going to have to get honest here. Wow. What a backdash. Both of them not hitting very many buttons. Committing what? anything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh no. The jump and the punish. Wow. Very, very good read there. I, I can't believe that was reaction. It happened too quickly. Or do you think it, it was? It's reaction. It was reaction, really? He may not have known for sure if that was a safe jump. Mm. So he went with the, uh, the the snake fist, not knowing for sure if that was going to connect. But as we saw earlier in that matchup, he had clear experience here yes, in this Rufus versus Rufus sure. matchup. So I think he eyeballed that and said, you know what? That's not clean. That's not clean. So good on Glitch. That's yeah. Glitch from AG. Okay. He's, uh, he might OCV. He's looking at it. Wow. Yeah, I, I like when things got rough. It was clear to me that Glitch was still in control, mm -hmm. while our, our Korean Rufus was was really a guy just struggling for hits. And he, even though he had everything going for him, he had the full st uh, full meter. He had the ultra. It was yeah. almost completely full. He had everything going, but it's just like you said, the uh, Glitch was very very much in command yeah. that entire mm -hmm. time. So even though he had certain uh, uh, extra options. It just glitch didn't allow him to even utilize them. Yeah. He, he really kept just uh, super control of that match. Uh. Great job of neutralizing all of Rufus's angles of approach. Like we saw the jump back fierces. Yeah. We saw the jump back roundhouse towards the end. Yeah. And even in the beginning of that round when he was, uh, he did an anti-air with his standing fierce. It yeah. was really good. He just, he very much knows Rufus. The only I, I've always felt like when you see a mirror match between the same characters, it generally you get an understanding of who knows that character the best because you know his way of approach offensively and you know defensively um, how to approach that character. Yeah. So it's just, it, it, it shows a commanding lead. 
Uh, just, a, uh, just a, he just, I don't know. It's, he seemed like he really, really understands it. Things did get a little bit hairy as players were whiffing buttons towards the end, but Glitch did close it out. So now he is sitting on this OCV as our Korean uh, Akuma. And what would you say the matchup is here? I don't think he's actually Korean. This is Team Korea. Uh, I'm going to go with this being in Akuma's favor. Right, with the Ultra 2, that really helps things out. It lets him teleport out of uh, Rufus's Okazeme with the threat of a punish on uh, Rufus's Crutch Fierce. So Rufus is kind of hesitant to punish. It's, it's not a lot of damage, Crutch Fierce versus an Ultra. I see. So aside from that, he just doesn't really have a great way to pressure Akuma mid-screen. And Akuma will blow for blow out damage him, generally speaking. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Now, if you remember back in the day, uh, it was always common for someone to save their anchor position for their absolute best player. And I think people kind there of got it. Is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh no. Wow. He's late on it. Do you and think that's what's happening here? Or do you think Akuma might be their best player? Or is uh, probably saving their best player as well as their best character. I mean, Akuma has really been solidified as one of the the top ranked characters in this game. So you want to you want to uh, backload your team as, right. as as the term might be. Oh my goodness! And he missed the ultra, and that could go really bad. Uh, oh my goodness. Nice DP there. And he, Can he chip him here? He could have FADC that what? for the kill, and things are going wow crazy. I didn't understand. I really thought he would shore you, FADC, shore yeah. you for the guaranteed. Uh, okay. I, I think, yeah. It's first match of the day. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Like, That's what it it's is. never clean this early in the day. They got to warm up the station. Yeah. And it might just be that he has a little bit less experience in this matchup. He looked really good in the Rufus matchup. Right. But, uh, not having as much success here against the Kuma. Switch. I mean, he he has the tools to get through the footsie game that Akuma can play. You know, Akuma's going to really be able to keep him out on the ground and control him. But that kick is just a tool to get through all of that. So it's really going to boil down to hard reads. Right. Uh, I wonder, um, it seems like Glitch is having a lot of execution errors now. That's twice he's missed, uh, you know, the uh, EX snake strike off of his jumping roundhouse. Yeah. Even still, he's able to maintain his lead here. Playing a little bit safer in this round. And <laughs> just as I say that, he goes in with a reckless dive kick. <laughs> right. He's been doing a pretty good job of like threatening the needle, getting around the fireballs in this round. Oh, whip for the link! Big link, big damage. Okay. He does not need to go forward anymore in this matchup. Right. And I think oh. this, this Kuma recognizes it. Now, see, I don't know if he's doing it that way, but wow, you know, a lot he of times. an opportunity for a punish there. Oh. What a DP. It got really loud for a second. It there. did, it did. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. He threw, out the, he threw out the snake strike for a second there, and I thought, uh, is he conceding the match right now? Like, what? Well, it's, you know, but no, I guess he was just trying to build a little bit more meter. I, I think it just, the look on his face, you know, it, it just looks like nerves. Yeah. Early in the day. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure my first matches in the team tournament are going to be uh, a little bit nervous myself. Fortunately, our, our first match, um, Knives, OCV to the team. I so. think that we had the name switched, and this is Team Korea coming up, because that's Neo. From, from AG? No, that's Noki D. Wow, he looks like Neo from here. Wow. Wow. Now, there are all sorts of racist implications that I can make there, but I'm not going to make those. <laughs> I am so fired. I am so fired. Do not call Kotaku, please. Yo, from the side, though, doesn't he look mad like Weirdo Neo? Don't. Yo. Yo. And it makes so much sense. I mean, because right, right, it's Korea. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's not like there was, uh, there was context going into it. <laughs> and, and, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Min just walks up by the, to the side, like, to add insult to injury. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean it. He really did look like. <laughs> I'm going to just move on now. Right, right. So it's Lucky D moving up for Team AG, as Lucky D is AG and plays Dawson. And this is going to be an even tougher matchup uh, for AG against Akuma. Yeah. I'm not sure who their anchor is, so. 
probably wise. Just go ahead and throw Dalsum up. It's whoever it is probably has a better matchup against Akuma than Dalsum does. Yeah. But Lucky D is one of the like Dalsum mainstays of the Street Fighter 4 scene. He's been around a long time and, and definitely one of the best Dalsums on the East Coast. Right. If not maybe the best these days. And see, and here's the thing, when you have uh, someone, even when a matchup is bad, when you have a character specialist, a lot of times they can just overcome it. Yeah. So very simply, just, just understanding the character better than most. I mean, it's true. The, the reasons why mismatches occur are because of the, the things that are easy to see, the obvious things. And a character specialist will, oh good, my that goodness. was sick. He sick, blocked Sick mix-up and sick block. <laughs> what? I, all of that was nasty. He blocked that? All right. Let's wow, go. Really good Winner luck. brawl. Oh, nicely placed dive kick. Re gets the link and the throw off the Oki. <laughs> oh, man. I wish we had replay so we could replay that clarity that there. Sick. There's no way he should have blocked that. that I don't know. Really <laughs> you know? Oh, that would have ground bounced and cross second for no reason, and he would have got <laughs> half damaged. <laughs> All righty. Akuma certainly one of the best characters at closing the gap where uh, Dalsum wants to keep you full screen. Right at the tips of those fierces to get his uh, his damage at low risk. Right. It's the type of character that he is. Um, oh, misses his link. Wanted the big damage. He was and just to it. Thrown out of the corner after the hard knockdown. That's a big drop for Akuma. His chance to win the round was lost yeah. after that. When it when yeah, once yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Yeah. Well, as soon as that happened, it, the, the match became very very strongly in Dawson's favor. I don't, oh, I don't, I don't uh, throw there. It's, it's weird. I, I like the choice from the Kuma. He's recognized he doesn't have any meter left. He's not gonna have a lot of chance to build it, so he's just kind of going in. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Very very good. He's, he's since he has blown all of his resources though it makes it that much harder for him right just at these current positions mm -hmm. Dawson is very very much a character yeah. in, in the not just based off of life right. oh my goodness and that's yeah this looks like this is game it's it's Akuma you can never count him out with that explosive power but the slide right. to get under the jump in very very good Lucky D will seal it for AG and 